Hey, so today I'm going to talk a bit about the basic building tools in BitClavier, um, and I'm going to recreate the basic piano. So as a refresher, you can find the basic piano under the second drop-down menu, basic piano. Um, and the things that you need to build a basic piano include a key map preparation, a direct preparation, and a tuning preparation. Um, and then there are connections between direct and tuning, between key map and direct. Okay, so I'm going to make a new gallery for my recreation of the basic piano. Um, you can name it whatever. Okay, so in my new gallery, there's already a basic piano. Um, I guess I could end the video here, but it wouldn't really be showing much. Um, so let's let's delete this. Um, you can do so by dragging and selecting all of the preparations and then just hitting the delete or backspace key and now we're ready to build all right so there's a number of different ways to build in bitclavier um, the first being using this action button up at the top so we first need to add all the preparations you can do so by clicking action add we need key map action add direct action add uh, tuning and then you can just drag them to space them out appropriately and then with uh, one preparation selected you can hit action make connection and then select the end for that connection and then again with one selected hit make connection and then select the end um, and now we've pretty much built the basic piano but it's not quite ready to go um, as you can see, when I click uh, any of the keys down there, no sound comes out. And that's because the preparations aren't configured yet. Um, and I'll actually be explaining how to do that in the next video. It's, it's pretty simple. But um, in this video, I just want to go through the rest of the building tools. So one thing to note is that you can actually access all of the action options by performing a right click. Um, and again, on Mac, you do this by holding control and clicking or tapping with two fingers on the trackpad. Um, the one difference between right click and the action button is that the action button has this all off, um, whereas right click does not. But for all other purposes, they're pretty much the same. So um, you can actually build the basic piano using right clicks to demonstrate that. Um, right click, add key map, right click, add direct, right click, add tuning. Let's space them out. And then with one selected, uh, right click, make connection, select the end, right click, make connection, select the end. All right, so now we've built the basic piano in two different ways. Um, and one note about connections is that you can actually go in either direction. So I could have started, for example, um, at, at tuning and, and then made the connection to direct. There's, there's no directionality co to connections. You can make them you know, in any order and it'll work just fine. So now you might be thinking, well, gee, that takes you know, a lot of clicks to make a basic piano, but you can do it much faster if you use keystrokes. Um, and you can see which keystrokes you need for which action in the action menu. Um, and, you know, right next to each option, there's a parentheses. This indicates which keystroke you need. So, for example, I can make key, key map with just hitting K, direct with D, and tuning with T. And then to make connections between them, um, I can see that in parentheses, you know, there's command click. So if I have one preparation selected and then hold command click uh, and then release command and select the end that makes a connection and just again command click select the end um, now I've made the basic piano just again you know to show you how fast you can do that K D T command click command click now I've made the basic piano
So now I just want to cover some things that you might find useful while building. So first I want to I want to mention something and we've already seen this but um, it's important to know that the options that you have available to you under the action menu kind of depend on what you have selected. So if you have nothing selected, you know, there's not many options. If you have one preparation selected, there's, you know, more options. If you have multiple preparations selected, there's, you know, a different uh, set of actions that you can perform. Um, and just to reiterate again, for most intents and purposes, uh, right clicking will give you the same options as, as clicking action. So, you know, you can do this. Um, the, the one difference, as I've mentioned, is the all off button, which is not in, in the right click menu. But okay, so we've already covered, you know, what the add button does. Um, in future videos, we'll, you know, go through in detail all the different things you can add. But what, what does this next category of things do? Um, and, you know, these are options that you're probably already familiar with. Cut, copy, paste, delete. Um, and, you know, you can use the, the keyboard to do these actions as well. Um, so you might want to, you know, copy uh, a piano and, and paste it somewhere else. Um, you know, for some for some reason, you might be interested in just cutting out, you know, part of, of a keyboard or something, um, and then you can paste it somewhere else. Um, and one thing to note is that using these options kind of it kind of handles the connections for you. So it wouldn't really make sense to still have you know this direct preparation connected to the key map. Um, yeah, so. The last thing you can do in this category of options is uh, delete, and we've already seen that. You just you know drag to select a number of preparations and then delete, or you can just hit the backspace key. All right, so the action menu also lets you manipulate connections, and this is pretty useful. Um, so for example, say that you accidentally connect tuning to key map and now you have this kind of random piano creation that doesn't do a whole lot um, so to undo this you can select uh, you know the two preparations that are uh, that have a bad connection and and choose remove connections between selected um, and now we're back to the basic piano one other thing you can do is you know with multiple preparations selected choose remove connections to selected and uh, basically this will get rid of any connections that go to preparations or just one preparation that you've selected. Um, so now we have no preparations at all. Um, and one final thing that you can do is uh, make connections, you know, in, in a slightly different way than doing command click. So you can select two preparations that you want to connect, hit connect selected or you know, keystroke U. Again, that's. Uh, select two preparations and I'm just going to hit you and now we're back to the basic piano. So the action menu also has this option to uh, rearrange different preparations. So you know say I want to move this kind of messy creation into a column. Uh, I can do so by selecting all preparations. Um, you know, and I, I, I showed how you can drag before. One other thing you can do is uh, use the select all keystroke. And on Mac, that's command uh, and A. That selects everything. And then you can hit align as a column. Now we're back to the, you know, nice basic piano. You can also, if, if you so desire, select all and align as a row. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing to note is that the keystrokes for these options actually perform, you know, distinct things than just uh, hitting a line. So, for example, if I select all and then uh, use command and up arrow, that will align everything in a row, but to, at the height of the highest most uh, preparation. Um, so that's nice. You can also do command down arrow. And that you know takes everything to the bottom most preparation, uh, and 
as you would guess. That's command right arrow and uh, command left arrow. So the all off button, um, as you'll remember, this is the one difference between uh, the action menu and the menu you see when you right click. Um, and what the all off button does is pretty much just stops all sound immediately. So I've made this uh, little demo um, and it makes a pretty rough noise um, and I'm going to use the all off button to just mute it. So here we go. And one more time. Yeah, so as you can see this is pretty useful thing, especially when you're working in Synchronic um, and maybe you have a really lengthy cycle or you know something where the gain um, increases over time. Um, it, it can be useful just to you know not have to listen to a barrage of sound all the time. Um, you can use all off button to stop it. Um, okay, so just to summarize this video, talked about all the different building tools in BitClavier. The next video will finish up the basic piano.